I'm not sure I'll ever leave this title screen, because what would be the point? It can only get worse from here. If we just stay at this title screen and enjoy this rad music, and just imagine these drums in our hearts, we don't have to worry about things like dying, or being good at games. This is enjoyable by everyone. This could be the highlight of the stream. Hello, welcome to Spelunga with Scoops for, what is it? January 13th, 2014. This is my now daily Spelunky stream uh, in which we try the daily challenge of Spelunky. Um, much earlier today, I, I at the last second, moved up uh, the stream. Uh, I am trying to work afternoons, uh, at least for m most days, out of the Cards Against Humanity office with Mr. Max Temkin and folks. Um, and I'm going to have to figure out how to do the streaming setup out of there uh, so we can continue the daily challenges, uh, see if we have to switch to a PS3 or if there's a way to do it on a PC of some device in that office. So, got to work out that stuff. And until I do, uh, we're moving it up uh, earlier so that uh, we can still do these. I can do it from home. Then I finish it, I export the file to my Dropbox, and I upload it from the office. Is my planned workflow, because people want to know about things like workflow when they watch this stream. Uh, so we're going to start with, uh, as per usual, two warm-ups before we get into the daily challenge itself. Uh, everyone knows the official hashtag for uh, this feature is hashtag beat Remo, uh, because if we can't do well, maybe the least we can do is beat Chris Remo. I was playing this uh, on my Vita uh, during the NFL games this weekend, which is what prevented me from streaming and playing uh, any more meaningful Dark Souls uh, or... Uh, actually, I didn't even play a whole lot of Spelunky uh, because I was just kind of focused on watching watching the games. Um, but the couple of rounds of Spelunky that I did get in uh, allowed me to discover something brand new. I got to the castle, the haunted castle. Uh, basically, during some stages, you'll come across uh, in the jungle uh, a crown underneath... Uh, a grave, and it, you can just collect the crown, and the crown will. Sorry, hold on. Uh, the crown will uh, net you some money, but if you bomb underneath where the guy is at, uh, it leads to another area, uh, which is kind of like this weird haunted castle section that has a bunch of enemies I was not used to dealing with and uh, promptly died. But. Uh, there is just so much more to discover in this damn game. Um, I was I was recently linked to uh, someone pointing out the worm stage, which uh, we're actually, if I'm able to, uh, we'll try and check that out. That is predicated on me making it to the jungle, but I definitely want to try and start using uh, some of these practice runs uh, to get better at some of the weirder strategies that I'm more reluctant to employ uh, during um, uh, the daily challenge run, when I'm you know trying to play my best, quote unquote, I guess. Uh, in some of my practice runs that I was doing on the Vita, I have now experimented with the idea of uh, just destroying the shopkeeper right up front in the mines. Uh, that went pretty poorly. Uh, a lot of the time, I have to I have to admit, uh, there is certainly a strategy behind uh, how you destroy the shopkeepers and how you deal with them later on. But uh, of course, the advantage to destroying a, a shopkeeper is that you will get access to the the shotgun guaranteed because they will drop um, a shotgun. I don't have anything to sacrifice. Uh, some people mentioned that something really crazy happens if you destroy, uh, if you anger uh, Kali, I think is the... Oh, I didn't grab that rock. 
which is the little god that's right there uh, that you can sacrifice things to. If you if you do it twice, something really bad happens. I'm not sure if we're gonna actually get to that uh, on this run, but something to keep in mind uh, for the future, for sure. Uh, some folks in the chat talking about some of the uh, the weirder stuff in the game. There is a mothership level, uh, which is accessed in the caves right before you get to the temple. Um, I d went to the mothership uh, when I first made it to the end of the caves because I was just way too damn intrigued by what <laughs> by the possibility of going into the mothership, uh, which proved to be a, a really stupid idea. Not gonna miss while well, this was coming. Didn't have to throw him. Uh, folks pointing out that yes, the the spot to actually start messing with the shopkeepers and killing them is uh, is when you get to the black market because you once you've pissed off the shopkeepers, the shopkeepers are pissed off for the rest of the game, um, which you know that much is obvious to anyone that's played Splunky. But what's more important is that. Uh, they're pissed off in every stage going forward. Uh, damn it. But, uh... Ah, oh, idiot. This is what happens when I talk too much. Uh, but their items are no longer at their shop locations. Uh, you've just become a purely a terrorist to them, and you can no longer get their items. So the reason that you would want to uh, destroy the shopkeeps uh, at the black market is because the black market... If you haven't watched these streams before... Um, is a secret area uh, full of shopkeepers and uh, full of items, more importantly. And so if you're going to start killing them, you want to kill them there because then you can loot them for everything that they have and just deal with the fact that at that point you probably have enough to go on whatever run uh, you are going for. Uh, and as uh, Aaron is a drunk uh, points out, uh, when you anger the shopkeepers, uh, it also spawns an angry shopkeeper at the end of every level. Which is no good. Hmm. 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 Oh. Well, if I destroy that... Man... Aw, oh, you son of a... I think I destroyed that box so I didn't get what was in it. Which made everything I just did there pretty pointless. Uh, one of the things that I've definitely not employed nearly enough is uh, sacrificing uh, enemies. So when you when you get to these sacrificial altars, oftentimes uh, what you mostly sacrifice are the damsels, uh, which are the dogs in, in my run. Um, but you can sacrifice dead enemies there as well, the ones that you can pick up anyway. Come on, be something crazy. Well, ah. well, at least a free a freeze gun is something. That's a gun. Uh, Max Kane asking, weren't you gonna try ghost mining? Uh, yes, ghost mining is an advanced technique uh, in which, when the ghost appears, you take him through the the level and uh, run over a bunch of treasure that has dropped because he will turn it into uh, extremely valuable loot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have I have not messed. Oh, this is the spider web one. Oh, I, just, I thought this was the freeze gun. I don't know how useful this is gonna be. I've never used the this weapon all that much. Curious if, if folks have thoughts on that, if they've had good luck with this weapon uh, for some particular reason. So I made it through the mines without finding uh, the the key, which means ah. Where's 
best I can use to pop those open. Uh, the fact that I didn't find the key means... Mm, I'm not gonna mess with that. Those monkeys are gonna screw me up. So if we wanted to do the worm... I think that require. I think that's that thing. You know what? Why don't we try it? I think the worm uh, requires this. Uh, okay, I need to avoid. Ah. Nope. Oh! Dang it. Alright, so that was the worm. We did, you have to get in there, the worm has to pull you in, uh, in order to get into the worm level, which we did not manage to pull off. Uh, at least we saw what happens, so, you know. Every Spelunky run is about learning something new, and we definitely learned something new right there. on along. At least the pug didn't die, though, as people in the chat are pointing out. Could have gotten a lot, could have gone a lot worse for that poor pug. Sacrificing him to that worm. Freeze ray. Oh. I'm not gonna do it. 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 Oh, that's not... That's a lame weapon. And now I can safely not buy the teleporter. I deeply apologize to everyone they wanted me to use the teleporter. I deeply apologize to myself for not using the teleporter. Or maybe that's me learning my lesson. Oh, shit. That's not the first time I've done that. Damn it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Uh, as some folks in the chat pointing out, uh, one of the things that I could have done right there uh, is use my I a ton of uh, a ton of bombs. I could have bombed the spikes. And as someone else points out, if I had grabbed the teleporter, I could have teleported past the spikes. See, always grab the teleporter. Why wouldn't you grab the teleporter? Yeah, it's not worth it. Not confident in that jump. Well, that was too bad. The amount of bombs we had meant that uh, I could probably have gone on a, a fairly deep run had I not been, uh, I think they call it an idiot? I think that's, I think that's what they call it. Hmm. Hmm, damn it. Well.
That poor little pug stuck in those rocks. I feel bad, man. Doesn't feel good. Give me that rock. Give me that rock. Get back there. Come on. Encountering a dark level this early on uh, in the game uh, is particularly cruel on the game's part. Actually, this, this is not going to end too poorly for us. Oh, buddy. We are in business, baby. Woo-wee. Yes, yeah, son. Get that tail jetpack. Can we not be stupid? Can we use this this jetpack for all the good it is worth? Man, look at that. Look at that thing. Maybe we'll come back. But the, our chances of getting a... Uh... These are the most evil traps in Spelunky, by my account. Hmm, can I get all the way over there? This may be a waste of bombs. Nope. Oh well. stuff up there. I should have gone and gotten some of that. I wonder if it's worth going back to get that. But I've only got... Uh-oh. Hey, buddy. We're just gonna move on.
Okay. Sacrifice this guy. No. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed my sacrifice. Oh, no! Oh, this is bad. So... There's one of these things here. Son of a... There's no way down there without triggering it, so... I've now used my last bomb. Um... Oh! Oh, God! Oh, people said I could use the rope. You're right, I forgot that ropes will trigger the traps. That's... Okay, pro tip. If you, are, if you are low on bombs and all you're trying to do is trigger a trap, make sure and remember that, uh... Oh! How did that even happen? I gotta watch the replay. I gotta watch this replay. I'm watching this stream, it's delayed. Son of a... Why did I even fight the spider? Why would I even fight the spider? Idiot! What a moron. All right, day of the challenge. Yo, lady, let's do this. Yeah, Nux is right. Max is right. They were both right. Don't fight this. Don't fight enemies. Well. I don't need to trigger that anyway. So one of the ways that you could have uh, combated that early hit I took uh, when there were the two off-screen uh, arrows uh, is that if you're carrying a rat or you're carrying uh, a uh, a damsel, uh, they will actually take the initial hit uh, from from you on that. So if you carry those with you, you can. There are ways to avoid uh, monstrous traps like that. So, for example, you know, had I been carrying a rat with me uh, into the next area, I think I don't know if the rat maybe the rats don't transfer. Uh, then I I might have had a shot to have the uh, have that be what how that went down uh, I can't believe I screwed up that jetpack you never get a jetpack that early So, real question, 
you know, this is a treasure run, so... Man... I really like the climbing gloves. Those have always proven very useful to me. But I think the bombs are gonna prove more useful long-term. So part of the reason that uh, the daily challenge is interesting is because uh, there's the risk reward of you have to spend treasure to acquire items. I don't think there's anything going on over there that I need to care about. Um, but that takes away from your total, right? Like it's not total amount of treasure collected, period. It's treasure you have when you die. Uh, so if you choose to A lot of enemies. Oof. That whip could have totally screwed me over. I didn't realize they would actually come down a frame. I'm not sure if the... Damn it. I was gonna go back and get a rat, but I don't know. I'd rather not get... that guy. Do you actually have to be in his immediate line of sight? Jeez. Hmm. I don't 
think that's worth it. So you can't take the you can't take the rats in with you. Yeah, so people going like, oh man, this run's got lots of treasure. Do remember that because this is the same seed, uh, everyone has lots of treasure. Uh, so I have no inherent advantage except uh, how I potentially uh, play this out. Oh. I, did, I thought maybe you could drop them on the tree branches, but apparently not. So that was a waste of a bomb. So now we're looking for the black market. Uh, which is when the real risk and reward... Oh. Where this section becomes uh, apparent. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, okay, here we go. So, you know, the black market, I don't know if it actually makes a lot of sense for me. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. enemies in the black market, so... Uh, I wonder if I can afford the jetpack. Alright, this is a real big gamble. I'm gambling that the jetpack will give me enough that I can actually c climb back. I'm gonna give it a shot. This will also be a time that I should steal. Uh, but I don't, uh... I haven't really worked on that that much. I don't trust myself with that thing. I guess people are saying that I could have just stole it. You're right. There are better strategies for what I just did. I'm not going to argue that. Damn it. Well. <laughs> I feel like we all know where this is going.
I went for it there, uh, because I'm hoping to grab this guy. Trying to slowly crawl my way back with treasure. deal with these when I don't have any yes suck it me there's no way I'm going anywhere near those bees God. Ah! How did that hurt me? Son of a bitch. I don't. Mm, yep. I really want that puppy, but I don't want those bees. I have the jetpacks in the caves. Uh, I might be able to make up some decent ground here. I picked up the dog, I picked up the chest. Ah! Oh! I didn't know they could shoot through those things. Well, you need to learn, you need to learn things in Splunky. I learned that the aliens can see through that stuff and they can shoot you. And then I touched that and I died. Um, that's unfortunate. I got them loaned up. Ah, now is the time to see the leaderboard. Da 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 da. Oh man. Chris Remo had a hell of a run. 121,000. And Phobos beat me. And Mr. Angerface, another friend of mine. Good to see more people getting into this Blunky Dalen challenge. 
I think today's hashtag is, as someone in the chat points out, Hail Remo. Hashtag Hail Remo, not hashtag Beat Remo, because we did not. We lost. We lost. I uh, invested in the jetpack, which I still think was the right move. Uh, had I not made such a dumb mistake in the caves, I think I could have made up uh, a ton of ground in in the caves in terms of treasure acquisition. But it didn't work out this time. It doesn't work out a lot of the time. Um, but that is going to do it for today's daily challenge. Spelunking with Scoops. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, as always. Uh, if you got any tips for me, you know, keep it subtle, keep it vague, but feel free to send it my way. I'm reading stuff, trying to learn more about the game uh, with you guys on a daily basis, which I think is part of the fun. So, uh, as always, thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, folks who've been asking about Dark Souls, uh, looks like I may resume doing that on my personal channel on Tuesday night. Uh, so, if you want to see me play more Dark Souls, you can do that there. But that is... Something I do in my off time, not site content. We've had lots of Dark Souls on the site, and I play Dark Souls when I'm not streaming, uh, and I don't want to feel obligated to stream when I play all the time. So, with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Because if we die in Spelunky, the only hope we have is that maybe we will do better tomorrow.